Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Team of the Season Alexander Arnold card to review. We're taking a look at a card who is 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills, four star weak foot. Uh, now guys, when it comes to cards like this, sometimes you get attacking opportunities, but the main thing that you want to see is defensive capabilities, right? That's going to be the main thing with this card. Uh, player traits, he has early crosser, he has long passer, he has long shot taker. Uh, if we take a look at how this card is formatted in game, you are going to be seeing us using him on a shadow chemistry style on seven chemistry, not giving him an anchor chemistry style, which is actually going to be a very good test because here's the thing, right? If we take a look at this card on 10 chemistry, 100 chemistry on an anchor chemistry style, he gets the same plus five plus five for the acceleration, and the sprint speed, but he'd also get that physical boost too. So what's going to be interesting about this, because we're also reviewing some other players too, is that we are going to be trying him out on a chemistry style boost where it touches the defense a little bit and it also touches the pace a little bit to see what it's like without giving him the full capability, right? Uh, in regards to the boost that we can give him with the chemistry style. Uh, when it comes to shooting on this card, he does have very good shot power. So if he does get into an attacking opportunity, he can actually score some opportunities, which is pretty cool. Uh, a card like this, guys, to be honest, if you use him as like a right mid, you could totally do that if you really want. So you know what? You could actually give him a hunter chemistry style if you see yourself scoring a lot, of, a lot of opportunities with him, right? Because listen, a card in the right mid position with a four-star, four-star capability that can shoot the ball is pretty cool. But another way that I see this card being used is going to be on the engine chemistry style, right? You give him that pace boost, that passing boost, while working with a really high dribbling boost, considering the fact that his defense and physical is already in a very good area for someone playing in that right mid position with that four-star, four-star capability. Yes, the shooting will be inconsistent, but that push forward comeback is going to be the main things to work with, right? Uh, so a couple of interesting variables there. Passing on the card is absolutely incredible. You don't really have to look at that too much. Uh, a card like this, guys, you could probably play in the midfield position as well. But again, the main thing that we're going to be seeing is defensive animations and whatnot, because with Alexander Arnold, guys, he's a player that has a high medium work rate. I've seen people use uh, the ones from before in the midfield position. It's not the craziest there. It's definitely more of a side player, but it's something that you can do if you really want to. Uh, dribbling we'll be experimenting with for base card stats to see what that's going to be like on the card. Uh, with defense, he is still getting really good boosts, guys. Like, I mean, if you take a look at the chemistry style uh, on the shadow on seven, he still has a very good area for his defensive stuff with the physical being as it is. The key thing here, right, is that when you get this card on 10 chemistry, that extra physical is the main thing that you have to look at on 10 chemistry because of the extra strength, the extra aggression, and the extra jumping that you'd be working with, right? So it looks like a card that would essentially be close to full meta, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it's a card that's really good at doing everything. You really can't go wrong. Because with Alexander Arnold, guys, he even has a unique body type, right? So a lot of uh, like interesting variables to work with when it comes to this card. Uh, again, we're going to be testing out mostly defensively because that's kind of the whole purpose of using a card like this. Uh, guys, I think he's going to be a monster because when we used to do the reviews for uh, like the previous versions... Uh, he had this like thing to him that was like pretty nice defensively. Cancelo had more of that it factor because he had like a cool like sharp dribble to him. Uh, so you could tell that when once he got the higher rated versions, he'd be a monster. But with Trent, I think it could be a similar situation. We're going to be trying him out in the right center back position. Remember that his pace and his defensive stats is still in a good area. He just doesn't have the physical stuff from the boost on the anchor, right? So we're going to see if it's still going to be pretty solid on the card anyway. So... Yeah, we'll get into a couple of games and see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Well done, Trent. Well done again. Interception there by Arnold. The agility there from Arnold was nice. Beautiful pass. Uh, did good enough there. Did good enough there.
Thank you, Arnold. Oh, Trent almost got to that too. Unlucky. Big boy Trent again. Arnold's from behind there. Nice. Uh oh. Thank you, Arnold. Woo! Give me that physical. Okay, okay. Always important to be able to win those when uh, under pressure. You just have to be wary of his, uh, the fact that he's not like the most agile. Let's go, Arnold. Well done, Trent. Yeah, Trent is Trent has been really good, man. Trent has been solid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's been doing great for me, man. I just have to block that area. Arnold is just, he's just one of those guys, bro, in this game, I'm telling you. Oh my goodness! Arnold, you absolute beauty! What a beast. Well done again with the challenge. Yeah, that's just Arnold doing that himself too, with the whole defensive play there. Well done, Arnold. And the challenge is like crazy for me. We'll take it. Yo, draw to well positioned. Good little law pass there, too. That's good. You got the initial play there with Arnold. He couldn't get the ball. But Virgil's got it. I'm not even joking when I say this. Like, Alexander Arnold could honestly play as a center back in this game. Slide challenge. Oh, he touched it last second? I don't believe, bro. I don't believe. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Team of the Season Alexander Arnold card. So, guys, listen, man. This card's a beast, okay? He's honestly a beast. And you know what? The price range of this card at 222k is so low for what he offers in-game if you can get the chemistry links with this card. It's genuinely so low. And to be fair, they've done a really good job with the transfer market stuff this year because cards are pretty low. Like the team of the season cards are super low right now. But I guess it's because they're not. I think people have reached a point where it's like if a card is not full meta, then they're not going to be like super expensive. But this card is really close to full meta. And he's 222K. That's a that's an unbelievable price for what he offers in game, in my opinion. I'm telling you guys, because a card like this, it was like I was mentioning earlier, we didn't even have full chemistry on him in regards to the physical boost on the card. But look at the defensive animations and the choices that the card makes when it comes to defending in the game. If you're playing a four at the back formation or you're playing a three at the back formation where this guy is playing as your right center back, this guy is genuinely very, very good. He's super, super solid. Listen, on an anchor, if I can give him that extra strength, that extra aggression, the extra jumping while making his defense basically close to perfect, pace almost close to perfect, it's really good, but it's really good because of a combination of different things, right? So obviously dribbling super, super high for a car that has a unique body type. So it was like I was mentioning earlier, we were trying him out mostly in the defensive way, but if you want to attack with this card, you know, push forward, come back, engine chemistry style would be great on the card because guys, you guys can see that physical wise, he was doing a fantastic job without any sort of boost to it, right? Defensively, he was only messed with a little bit plus threes and fours right so 
the fact that he can have all of these stats, right? Be good at everything except for the shot, the finishing part. But it's it's not bad because he has a shot power on it. It's very, very cool to work with, 100%. If we take a look at the right backs that play in the Premier League, let's take a look here. So Kyle Walker is usually a very good player, but he's not a four-star, four-star player. Juan Cancelo is the other one, but Juan Cancelo reached a point where it's like, you might as well just get the left back card, like the team of the season, team of the year, if you can just get those, right? Uh, Livramento is very underrated. This card right here is very, 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 very underrated. He is solid in this game. And it makes sense, man. Like, look, 57.5K, right? On an anchor chemistry style, take a look at this card defensively in game. It's very solid, man. It's a very, very nice card. But that's like the other main comparison. So 50K versus 200 and something K. Unique body type definitely makes a difference. Fredericks for 148K as an SPC. That's at the time. And then everything else is like mostly generic. You know, so you pretty much only have like two main right backs that you can use right now because Cancelo's physical is low for like the older versions of the card. So it's Kyle Walker mainly. And what about Reese James? What does this card look like? Reese James does look pretty solid too. He looks he looks decent, but he doesn't have the four star four star doesn't have the unique body type. Right. So that's a couple of things to consider when looking at the, uh, the new trends card. Yeah, 200. 216 is just going lower and lower. We're just losing coins on the review account. But yeah, you know what, man? 216k coins for what this card offers in game, guys. He's a monster, man. If you guys can fit him in the team for some chemistry links and whatnot, give this card an anchor chemistry style in the defensive positions. You will not regret it. If you play him as a right mid, I recommend the engine because he's still going to be a defensive and attacking monster, except for finishing in regards to consistency. Consistency. But the shot power is a huge gameplay compensator for sure. But uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoy this view review today and I'll catch you guys from the next one. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.